So I want to take this back to the article a bit because it stated that this conspiracy theory about 5G towers started in the UK. Mm -hmm. um, however, there have been some figureheads that have tried to debunk this, um, which seems very logical. Um, one of them being Michael Gove in the UK. Um, however, people don't take much stock in trusting these influential people. Debunk. Debunk. Michael Gove, for example, um, he was seen supporting his colleague who broke the travel ban. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's not much credibility in trusting the, these people in the UK anymore. And during this time of panic, if we can't point fingers at our government, mm -hmm. the next best thing is to point it at a conspiracy theory such as this 5G tower one. Credibility. Credibility. I think this is a very sensitive world that we're living in right now, especially with the COVID-19 virus. No one expected it to be so big and no one expected it to be locked in their houses for so long as right. well. So some people have some, I guess, uh, difficult way of dealing with things. So therefore, some people are lashing out in this situation. Lash out. Lash out. No one really expected it to be this serious, so I guess I can't always blame people for being a little bit aggravated or in, like irritated. But to make up all these sort of outlandish conspiracy theories is just a bit stupid in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm curious, what do you actually think of this 5G conspiracy mm. theory? Like, what do you think is the most appealing thing about it for people? I think it's just something to do. I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I, I think people are just maybe getting a little bit bored with life at the moment because they can't do anything except for sit at home. Mm -hmm. um, I personally don't see how there is any connection between a 5G network and a airborne virus. Yeah. Um, the, I just don't see how people could think that's a normal thing that happens. Right. Um, there has never been any other cases of uh, telecommunications and uh, pandemics, so <laughs> why start now? Uh, what about you? What do you think? Yeah, I, th I think it's ridiculous. I mean, the 5G tower installations actually happened in South Korea in 2018. Yeah, exactly. Starting from back then, way before the pandemic started. Mm. So I honestly just think that people want someone or something to blame, and they're very quickly to point the finger mm. at the timing of the 5G tower installations mm. so I just think it's a big misunderstanding and people have too much time on their hands like mm. you said right right yeah. do you know anyone who would call themselves a truther or do you know anyone who would be a truther and what kind of conspiracy theories do you, they believe in oh yeah I've got a few friends yeah. I guess back home that yeah. I would kind of put them into this category um, probably conspiracy theories about 9-11 biggest one yeah, yeah biggest one um, luckily, I don't have any friends who are flat earthers. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely cut all contact with them if, yep. they, if they suggested <laughs> that the world is flat. Yeah. Uh, many 9-11 stuff, to be honest. Right, right. What about you? Well, I think with the 9-11 situation, th that seems to be actual, like, not, I, I don't know. I, I've mm. watched a few documentaries, but it is quite... Interesting. Up, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know a person I used to work with, he was a conspiracy theorist and I think he did it just for fun. Mm -hmm. Not really, like, I'm not sure how much he believed in it, but he did do it to kind of get a rise out of people. So mm -hmm. like kind of like do it purposely just to annoy them. Right. Um, I don't know too many flat earthers, but there are a lot out there. I've, yeah. I've always been curious to meet if any like flat earthers or anything like that. Okay, well that'll do it for this unit and we'll see you in the next one.